Now, one of the guns that has really has sort of been a good surprise to me has been the UTG uh, Shadow Ops, which is the one you're looking at right now. We've been selling this gun probably longer than any other gun mm -hmm. uh, in the way of sniper rifles um, since we started as a shop. Um, to me, the, the main selling feature on this was its, number one, reliability, and number two, the ease of getting parts for it. You can see they actually sell an upgrade kit for this particular gun, so if you want to get even better performance out of this, they're actually selling you something that you don't have to search around and do a lot of hunting to find all the parts to right. do it, which is, is something really good. It also comes with out of the box uh, with a lot of the features that you'd normally have to pay extra for, like a bipod, an extra magazine, extra butt pads, all of that comes as part of the package. If you buy it here from us, we also uh, couple it with a scope, so you can buy it as a complete package. And in the under $200 category, which is the cheaper category of guns, and just in bolt action sniper rifles that we tested, this one had to be the best accuracy that I saw. Oh yeah, bunch. definitely. I mean, like you said, if you're going off a of price point and everything, this was a pleasant surprise. We clocked it in with 0.2 gram BBs at roughly 450 FPS, give or take, you know, that's like the average. And it's going, I believe it's uh, advertised as like 450 to 480, it depends on the site. Depends on the um, website, 450 to 500, depending on where that's, you look at it. That's, we've just seen it at different FPSs on different sites, but the point is, it's pretty much in the ballpark where they where they estimated it, so And that's also, fine. it's sort of a mystery why you'd want to even upgrade the velocity on it, because out of the box, it's getting you a velocity that may not be allowed at some fields. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, I've done a few of these where people have brought them here and we've taken some of the coils out of the springs and made them field legal for use at other fields. Uh, which is, by the way, a very simple process with this one. You don't have to completely disassemble the gun. There is a switch inside of the trigger guard that you can pull this down and release the entire bolt out of the gun without having to remove the, the, the right. top part from the frame of the gun. It's very easy to get out and very easy to modify without any major tools. So that that's really a great selling feature on this particular gun. Also, I mean, basically like the 338 that we were talking about, it's very cool looking. Yep. And this one's a lot lighter, which is great. Yeah, you can get around quicker with it. It's a very lightweight gun. So in the realm of when we're talking about price, Accuracy and velocity. This one really is sort of uh, best, yeah, this is best a, of all three. This is a very good contender. The one downside to this gun, which you have to expect because it is a spring sniper rifle, is well, I guess there's two. One, you're gonna have to manually cock it, which could get tiring uh, over you know a whole like six hours of playing. And the other thing would just be that you know a semi-automatic is gonna be faster. So yeah. if you need to take quick follow-up shots, having a semi-automatic uh, like a DMR or sniper rifle uh, that obviously has its advantages but this is going to be quiet this is going to be a little bit more maneuverable and if you're really trying to fill that that sniper role and you want to be as like true to it i guess you could say yeah, this um, is, a bolt action is kind of what you want to get yeah this is sort of a, a no compromises you know sniper package that you don't spend a lot of money on um, and I, I, I can't say enough about this particular gun. Yeah, this, this is a fantastic. Honestly, we didn't go into this, this particular video with the idea that we were going to promote one particular gun over another. It was really which gun sort of established itself as, you know, having the best value and the best velocity and all that. And it turns out it's a gun that we've been selling for quite some time. Yeah, and we'll show you a picture of the grouping so you can see for yourself. But the grouping was tight. Yeah, like uh, very, very few inconsistencies, yeah, it's if any at group, all. Which is fantastic yeah. for, for an air. At 100 group. feet with a .3, I mean, you're really and no modifications. It's done yeah. right out of the box. Mm -hmm. In fact, the gun that we uh, tried out that we used here, this is actually another gun that we've got for the video. The gun that we shot for the test, the, somebody bought it that day because they saw the accuracy that we got. When they saw the target, um, they got to take a look at the accuracy and that sold them on the gun right mm -hmm. off the bat. So, you know, considering all that, um, this is this is probably one of my number one choices. Yeah, and the, really the only, like I said, the only downsides are just the things that are inherent with a bolt action sniper. There's no downside uh, aside from the fact that, you know, compared to a semi-automatic, you're just a little slower. I mean, but great for, gun. For, for a gun that you have to operate the bolt in order to fire it, 
Um, this is a very easy bolt to operate. Mm -hmm. There's some of the springs that you need to apply a lot of pressure to. This particular one has a very um, smooth action. Yeah. And you're not, yeah. You know, some guns, there was one of the guns that, that I was trying out that, uh, in fact, it was the M24 A and K that I could not, from a prone position, operate the bolt. It was too hard to pull that spring back in a prone position. I actually had to sit up and manually pull that thing all the way down. This one, I can remain in a prone position and operate the bolt very easily. So, um, in a nutshell, this is, this is an excellent choice if you're thinking about getting a sniper rifle. And uh, I can't really say anything bad about this particular gun. Yeah.